In recent years, a new word has gone viral in China, guo chao, or China chic. It features fancy designs mixed with traditional cultural elements. The trend is visible in many ways, including art, clothing, food, and other daily commodities. China's guo chao has not only won the hearts of the younger generation domestically, but it has also been attracting young people from other countries. So today I'm styled in the dress of the Ming Dynasty. It's kind of the Ming Dynasty combined with some newer fashion elements. So right here is a Ming Dynasty style. This is called the Yunjian or the cloud shoulder. But also some fashionable elements that I've added myself are the fan. This is kind of a newer style. And also this long pendant right here. Zhou Mei was born in 1994 in the northeast Chinese city of Dalian when her parents worked as English teachers there. She returned to the United States at the age of six and came back to China as a high school student. She studied dancing in college and has been staying in Beijing for over 10 years. Ever since I could remember, I was throwing blankets over my shoulders and pretending I was some ancient Chinese princess. Ever since I was a kid, I was dressing up like this and I thought I had to come to China to experience uh, more school, school life here and learn about the culture more deeply through books and, you know, through with the people. I think the only way you can truly understand uh, one's culture is to immerse yourself into that culture. So 10 years ago when I came to China as a high school student, and at that time, there were pretty rigid parameters for where hanfu and these traditional outfits could appear. Most people thought they should just appear on, on TV, in movies, or maybe on stage. And then, as I stayed here longer, um, a, new, a new fashion came to life. The guo chao movement and the hanfu movement. And now, Hanfu enthusiasts like me, we can all connect through the internet and talk about our love for, you know, beautiful outfits. I think this new guo chao uh, culture, also the wen chuang and the Chinese cultural products, is a way for young people to connect with the ancient culture, but also bring it into the modern times. As a combination of traditional culture and modern aesthetics, the trend of Guo Chao is taking hold among Chinese people and becoming a cultural bridge between China and the world. Zhou Mei decided to build a career out of it. Earlier this year, she founded a company promoting traditional Chinese culture through social media videos. So I think even foreigners from all across the world when they comment on my videos, it's very positive. They like it because they like my idea of traditional culture. Also, I like to dance and, you know, be creative. So I think people um, respond very positively. And even Chinese in the West say, I'm so happy you're, you know, expressing yourself and through our culture. Behind the tide of Guo Chao is the growing confidence in China's traditional culture and the country's efforts to better preserve the traditional culture by breathing new life into it. So with my love for traditional culture, I think it's coming from within me, from the bottom of my heart. It's just true love. I have a princess dream. I want to be a Chinese ancient historical princess. And I think every girl in the world has a princess dream. And lots of people have dreams to be Disney princesses. But I think I'm trying to show that this was my dream.